Hello, my cookies, and welcome. Welcome to Russell Cooks. Thanks so much for tuning in. Yes, we are back inside. Until the weather cools down a little bit or we have some nicer days, but don't fret. I will get back to wood fire cooking. But today I got something that I absolutely love. We've all had clams with linguine. There's also this thing called clams with brothy rice. Spanish recipe, kind of along the coast of the Mediterranean. It's phenomenal. It's sort of like a risotto rice, but a little bit looser. You get a really flavorful garlic parsley stir-in sauce. So now that we know what we're doing, let's gather our ingredients. You are going to need some olive oil, garlic. I got a few leeks. Obviously, if you have a bigger leek, you only need one. These are pretty tiny. You need a bottle of clam juice, about two pounds of clams. Now I got little necks, so that equates to about 18. Get an extra or two, just in case they crack or they're dead. I've already scrubbed them. I'm not gonna bother soaking them in salt water, which is one method to get some of that sandy gunk out. The way I'm gonna cook them, I am going to keep them separate from the rice and I'm going to ladle in the broth. So hopefully any sand that's still in there doesn't end up in my dish. Gonna need some parsley. Gonna need a dry white wine. I have a Chablis. I absolutely love drinking Chablis. A green bell pepper. I have some risotto rice here. This is Carnaroli. Bombay rice is preferred. Valencia rice second. This third. So we're gonna need a little white wine vinegar. Champagne vinegar works well here as well. Lemon for lemon wedges. You are going to need some water and a little bit of salt. Now that we've gathered our ingredients and we know what we're doing, let's get cooking. First thing I'm gonna do is I am going to make this green sauce extremely flavorful. Got fresh parsley, a little bite from white wine vinegar and some garlic. And this will kind of be the backbone flavor. Give everything a lot of oomph. So I'm gonna make that right now and just let it sit. So for the sauce, I'm just gonna put in three tablespoons of olive oil here. Next up, you want about a quarter cup minced parsley, give or take. And my parsley here that I've cleaned, mince it up pretty fine here, do a good job. Not a lot that goes into this dish, so the little that goes in needs to be really good, high quality ingredients. And you need to do a good job with the prep. No Michelin stars though. This is about a quarter cup. I don't like making this in a food processor, could you? Probably. For the garlic, let's start with three cloves here. We'll put the rest in with the clams. All right, next up, let's do one tablespoon of white wine vinegar. Now you can adjust this amount to taste. It might need four teaspoons. So now that we got our sauce, I'm just gonna set this aside. It's time for the clams. So you're gonna need about two cups of white wine. So this bottle I had already opened, the Chablis. One for you, one for me. Let's get over to the stove here. I'm gonna put two cups of this wine in this pan. A large saucepan is fine, a pot is fine. I'm using a wide low rim pan only because it makes it easier for my cameras to see what's inside. I'm just gonna cover it and I wanna bring it up to a boil. Once it's boiled, I'm gonna add my clams. Let's prep the rest of our ingredients. Let's do these leeks. So I'm only gonna use the white and the light green part. You know what, I'm only gonna do two. I am going to chop up these leeks and then I'm gonna wash them thoroughly because I know they are dirty as all heck. The wine is going, that's so quick, these hex clad pans boil it like that. Reduce the heat to medium. Let's add these clams in a single layer. Spread them around, cover. Let's turn the heat back up. Medium high heat, I wanna simmer it. It starts raging, boiling and whatnot. I will turn it down. Clams should take about five minutes. Any ones that are not opened after that time, throw them away and cut up these leeks. All right, let's mince this up. Cup fine, that means about a quarter inch. All right, I'm going to submerge these in water. Thoroughly wash these. You're gonna need a green bell pepper. Chop this up pretty fine. You want it about the same size as your leeks. All right, we just cooked these in wine. They have opened up. Now it's time to take them out, put them into your bowl. I'm gonna give these a couple more minutes. I'm gonna keep these warm by covering them. And the few that are left in, I'm gonna give them a couple more minutes just to open up. And if not, they go in the trash. Three of them have opened up already. 
Cover up your clams, keep them warm. To this wine broth mixture, we are going to add an eight ounce bottle of clam juice and about five cups of water. Now I'm gonna cover that, keep that hot and warm on the back stove. And it's chopping this, chopping green bell pepper. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil, one, two, heat that over medium heat. Add my bell pepper and my leek. We're gonna soften this. It's gonna take anywhere between three and five minutes. All right, I am prepping one and a half cups of my rice here. Keep stirring here. Yeah, the veg is softened. It's been about three minutes. Gonna go ahead and add my rice. One and a half cups. And now let's add our garlic. We're just gonna stir all this around, coat the rice up in that oil, spread out that garlic. And you're gonna want to cook the rice until the edges kind of become translucent. That's gonna take upwards of three minutes. Stirring often. So you'll notice I haven't added any salt to this yet. That's because the clam broth is pretty salty. Clams can be salty. I will season it with salt to taste at the end of cook time. Now it's time to add the liquid. So I have my hot broth in the back here and I'm just gonna add two cups. This is an eight ounce ladle and I'm just gonna ladle in from the top. And we're just gonna gently stir this and cook it, adding broth, hot broth, every few minutes, one cup at a time until it gets almost absorbed and it's kind of creamy. When I was in the restaurant industry, I was taught one simple rule. Mashed potatoes could be loose. So you put them on the plate and they almost want to ooze. So they're fighting to stay up and winning. Risotto, fighting to stay up, but losing the battle. This is more of a brothy rice dish. So it's absolutely going to be losing the battle. If it's not losing the battle, you need to add more broth. All right, let's drop the heat. It's a little high. You can see here when I drag my spoon, fighting to stay up but losing the battle, and I don't see any liquid on the bottom. Let's add another cup. Remember, we're gonna cook this for a total of maximum 15 minutes. The other key to this is we will have extra broth at the end, or you should. And that's to let all the gunk and whatnot that got out of the clams kind of sit on the bottom. We don't wanna stir that into the rice. Keeps our rice grit free. And I added another cup here, medium, medium heat. Two minutes left, let's keep going. We'll taste the rice and see whether we need to go more or less. Rice is not done yet, that's okay. It's gonna still absorb a little bit. I'm gonna add about one more cup, stir it around, off heat, turn the heat off. We're gonna let the residual cooking and heat take this across the finish line. Time for the lemon. You can take about one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice, add it in. Remember that little kind of like salsa verde we made? I'm gonna add most of it. I'm gonna leave just a little bit behind. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice to this and I'm gonna kind of drizzle this over the open clams when they come out. So I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of lemon juice here. Let's go ahead and stir this in. Now you can completely adjust consistency with additional broth as needed. This is a good spot to taste it for salt and pepper. I'm gonna add a teeny bit more of this hot broth, maybe half a cup. Now it's time to nestle those clams in and let them heat through. And you might have some additional liquid in the bottom. If it is gunky and sandy, don't add it. If it's nice and clear and clean, you can add it. I'm gonna cover this and let this sit until the clams are heated through and the rice is finished cooking. And that's gonna be about five more minutes. All right, well, let's just plate this. All right, let's get some rice. All right, remember that little leftover salsa verde? We had a little lemon juice too. I'm just gonna take a little bit. I'm just gonna drizzle teeny couple drops on each of the clams here, maybe around the edge. All right, let's eat this. Here we go. Mmm. Tender clam. Get that brininess from that clam juice. And I didn't add any salt to this. Maybe it needs a little bit. You get that nice, fresh garlic that was kind of muted by the white wine vinegar. The risotto's perfect. Letting the risotto kind of finish with that carryover cooking. It just has that toothsome texture without being undercooked. It's phenomenal. The pepper, the leek, really good background. Takes me to like the coast of the Mediterranean. Mmm clean my plate. So that was clams with brothy rice and salsa verde. 
If you like what you saw, don't forget, not only can you follow me on Twitch, but I'm also on YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. The best way to support this channel, just subscribe to me on YouTube. It's free. And if you like any of the stuff I use, I have a whole bunch of affiliate links down below my videos in the description. It's only stuff that I use and I like. Of course, I do get a little bit of a kickback if you use the link and buy something. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.